A question I get asked often in interviews is who is your hero? And when I think about what a hero is, I think of it as a person that inspires you to be the best version of yourself. So today I am honored to have my hero visiting me from Texas here in Hawaii. Uh, my hero is my mom. And so I thought this would be a great opportunity to introduce you to her because I know I get asked a lot about um, how, how did I turn out the way I did? And she is a huge reason I turned out the way I did. So here's my mom, her name's Maria. Um, she, <laughs> Hello. She, Hello from Texas. <laughs> but she's here in Hawaii. <laughs> uh, so uh, I just wanted to, I thought this would be a good opportunity for her to share with maybe parents who just found out they have a child with a disability about how she handled uh, finding out she had me um, with a disability and maybe what helped her. So maybe it can help someone out there. So, um, Mom. Yes? When you found out that I was not uh, fully bodied, I guess. <laughs> um, it, you found out after you got woke up from a cesarean. What helped you through that? What words of wisdom would you impart onto a parent in that same situation? I always tell my friends that when I found out, of course you ask why. But then after a few minutes, I said, well, you know, thy will be done. You know, because I really believe in God. And at that day has been, was really the test of my faith. So I said to God, I said, thy will be done. I will do my best, but you fill in the rest. Mm -hmm. And how did that help you? So all along, you know, when you were growing up, I always have, you know, I, if you believe in God, you put your faith in him and believe that he knows what is best for you, what is best for everybody, and that he'll do whatever it is that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And so as I was growing up, what did you choose to focus on? I focus on just doing my best, um, and then, but most of all, just always savor every little miracles that happen every day as you live as you go on living and so i just focus on the positive things you know i'm not saying oh my god pity me or why did this happen i'm so unlucky or this is so hard i don't know i just kept doing what is best that i can do and then i also just keep on the positive side of life. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that sums up how I turned out the way I did. Because I think she taught me through her own example to focus on possibilities and not my limitations. We recognize the limitations, but you move on and you focus and you celebrate the small victories. And I think that's super key to dealing whatever obstacles are in your life, whether you have a child uh, with a disability or you have a disability yourself and feel like you're overcome with your own limitations or um, other society's limitations. I think focusing on the positives and possibilities is a true asset in helping overcome those challenges. Who's your hero? and why are they your hero? We'd love to hear from you. And if you'd like to see more from us, support us at Patreon at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Thanks so much, see you later. Bye bye.